This video will demonstrate how to test smoke and heat detectors. There are two types of smoke detectors, such as ionization and photoelectric. Photoelectric detectors can, basically what happens is there is like an LED inside the sensing chamber of a photoelectric smoke detector, and whenever something goes in there and gets like in front of the LED, such as smoke, it uh, activates the system. So you're supposed to use smoke detector spray for those. You can also use steam or fog from fog machines. With ionization detectors, basically particles from a from a um, fire like interacts with like radioact radioactive material inside the sensing chamber of the ionization chamber, and it goes into alarm. I'm not. I can't really explain that that well. You have to look it up on the internet, but so with ionization detectors, you're supposed to use like flame. So use like a match. It's probably the best because the wood, the wood um, combustion particles. So uh, if you're using a lighter, that's fine too. But either way, keep the flame a foot or two below the detector, because if you get the flame too close to the detector, like it will cause the detector to turn kind of black, and it, you could burn it. <clears throat> and you could also mess up the sensing chamber of it. So. Don't hold the flame too close to the detector. We've all made a mistake, and we kind of burn the detector. So, if you have uh, like a thermal sensor or a heat detector, you can use a hair dryer to activate it. One more thing I must say about the smoke detector spray. Also, with this, there's instructions on the back. I'm assuming this goes for all sprays. You're supposed to hold it. Let me focus that. You're supposed to hold the can no closer than 12 inches and no further than 40 inches. So basically just hold this like a foot or two away from the detector. The reason why is because the um, like the spray in here can corrode the housing of the detector and it can damage the sensing chamber in it. And I'll, many of these are flammable. I got a non-flammable one, which is good. But I'm supposed to shake it up well before use. I've used this to test two detectors, I have. Uh, you'll see it later in the video. But listen, you probably can't hear that, but I've probably used about 20% of this, which is a few sprays. So make sure you're very careful with the amount you use. It's like ten dollars for this little can, <clears throat> and also, um, what am I gonna say? Okay, well I forgot what I was going to say. Moving along to th thermal sensors and heat detectors. There are different types of heat detectors. There is mechanical and then there is like a thermal sensor. A thermal sensor uses a thermoresistor which is like a resistor on the detector. Okay. Well I had the panel in the walk test mode and I then activate a device for a while, so what it will do is it will um, sound the alarms to remind me it's in walk test mode. Alright, so <clears throat> moving along, if you have a thermal smoke, if you have a thermal heat detector, it uses a thermal resistor, which is, it looks like a resistor, but it's not actually a resistor. And um, with a lot of photoelectric smoke detectors, they have little thermal resistors built in, so it can also detect heat. Anyway, if you have a mechanical heat detector, which is more common, some of them have a rate of rise sensor on there, which is reusable, but the fixed temperature sensor on there, which is usually either 135 degrees or 190 degrees Fahrenheit. If that activates that fixed temperature sensor, the entire detector has to be replaced because it's mechanical and it will just keep activating the system if it's, you know, burned out or whatever. So, but the rate of rise sensor on those heat detectors are reusable, but if, again, if the fixed temperature one has already been activated, it you know has to be replaced. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and test a photoelectric smoke detector with smoke. So this one's kind of on the wall, so this is going to be tricky. There it goes.
You can also test photoelectric smoke detectors using a magnet. So there's a little engraved circle that's where you put the magnet to test it. It's in alarm now. As you can see by the LEDs. So you just saw me test a photoelectric smoke detector. So now I'm going to show you how to test a thermal, well, this goes for heat detectors also, but I tested the thermal sensor on my photoelectric snow detector with the hair dryer. So I'm going to go and show you that now. This is how to test a heat detector or thermal sensor. They can all be tested using a blow dryer. Now, many photoelectric smoke detectors have built-in thermistors, which is that little orange thing right there. That is a uh, thermal sensor. It's fixed temperature. I believe this one is 135 degrees. If you have a mechanical heat detector that is fixed temperature, which they most are, it has to be replaced after it's been activated because it's mechanical. And if you don't, it will just keep activating the system. Now, many of those mechanical heat detectors also have rate of rise sensors in them. And with the rate of rise sensor, it's reusable, so it doesn't have to be replaced. But if you activate the fixed sensor in it, it has to be replaced. So they have some detectors which are just thermal sensors, so they just have thermal resistors. So those can also be tested with the hair dryer. So anything that detects heat can usually be tested with the hair dryer. This is set to hot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on high. And then we'll see if it activates this the systems and walk test, by the way. That took a while, but yeah, it's pretty hot. So that was how to test a heat detector or thermal sensor with a hair dryer. So I will not be showing you how to test a, an ionization smoke detector, but it's really simple. Just get a match or a lighter, preferably a match. Light it and then hold it maybe six inches from the detector just don't burn the detector and it'll be fine so it might take a little while but <clears throat> or another good thing is to like light paper on fire so you, to do this safely I would just get like a candle not one of those small candles in the little metal containers but a larger one in like a glass container a glass can or whatever you want to call it a glass jar so get one of those candles and put paper on the wick so then the flame will catch the paper on fire and then the paper will produce the combustibles that is needed to set off the ionization smoke detector so so thanks for watching and please rate comment and subscribe